wow, this is the question that I've been really interested to know the answer. And I said I want to be involved in answering this most controversial question in critical care nutrition. So I, I signed up and I tried and work on it and it's been a fabulous journey ever since. Uh, I think the uh, nutrition is a very important uh, aspect of our uh, the care that we provide in the ICU. Um, the uh, EFFORT trial, uh, which was our first uh, uh, experience with, with these large trials, was actually brought to our attention, in my attention, through one of our dietitians. But as I looked at that, it looked very intriguing and, and um, certainly um, uh, looked like something that uh, I think a better focus on, on nutrition in our group uh, would hopefully have some better outcomes. Mm -hmm. I think that being involved in INS and effort um, in some respects is, is easier because the frameworks and the protocols are well developed. And so, um, you know, it's easier for the team to then get involved mm -hmm. in research because the, the guidance and the framework is there for them. Two things. I think it's it, it has helped um, maybe draw bring a better relationship between our dietary staff, dietitian staff. Um, it, it, looking at, at nutrition, every one of my partners. I think we all would have agreed before this trial that nutrition is important. Everyone was on board with starting nutrition early. However, once we've started patients on the trial, tracking our uh, our numbers, we found out that with the trial, with this better, improved communication, we're seeing. Uh, patients are getting started on nutrition sooner. We're getting patient, a higher percentage of patients to uh, their goal nutrition within the first day as opposed to sometimes taking several days to, to reach, reach goal. Um, so I, I think across all groups, the control or the, the uh, uh, experimental group, are hopefully doing good things by this improved uh, recognition and, and uh, getting people on tube feeding sooner part of this has been a wonderful journey. I feel like it enhances and improves my relationship with other multiple, dis you know, other disciplines, especially with the physicians. I feel like they they respect my, my, my recommendations, they trusted me more, and I feel like they, it elevates the value of nutrition in our, in our ICU. Um, you know, certainly our involvement um, I think at a very high level, Elite supports the mission of Penn um, to be involved in um, gathering new information, being innovative. Um, it certainly supports our goal here to advance um, clinical nutrition practice. Um, I think that our involvement in those programs um, have not only um, provided growth opportunities in terms of professional development, but also uh, the ability to use some of that information um, to work specifically at an institution level to improve practice. So, um... I've noticed that we we are involved now more. Mm -hmm. be, we've been involved in our daily rounds, but now it's more not only coming from nutrition, it's coming from bedside nurse, charge nurses, asking questions on day one, day zero ICU, like, like I feel like they have more um, involvement and they're nutrition champions also now in, um, in an R ICU. So I feel like having that engagement, you know, and having, having that empowerment with them, working side by side for better outcomes for our patients. INS, for example, we were able to use that data to embark on quality improvement initiatives um, that impacted direct patient care. Um, I think that our involvement and effort is got a very high potential for um, really adding clinical relevancy to practice uh, because we have included our patients. Um, so when we get the results, uh, we'll, we'll know that um, they're meaningful and, and particularly meaningful at our organization.